Okay, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Mathematics. Really interesting, relaxing challenge today. 2 to the 18 minus 1. What is our answer? And I don't want you to use your calculator right here because we will solve this here in just one minute with one really important trick. And you will be really happy about, you will be really proud of yourself because you solve it without any calculation. So it doesn't matter, you know math, you learn math, you love algebra, you don't like math. It will be really interesting. I hope you will learn something new from this video. So here's our question and we don't want to use our calculator. So 2 to the power 18 equal to, let's look at it, so 2 to the power 9 we know 512, where 2 to the power 10 equal to 1024, so yeah, so we have 2 to the power 10 equal to 1024, and I don't want to raise this, I can do this, I can multiply it by 2 all the time, so we cannot, we can get closer and closer to this 2 to the power 18, so we can do this, but I don't want to do this, I want you to know about really important trick. Take a look closely, 2 to the power 18 equal to 2 to the power 9 squared. So we have like 2 to the power 9 square. Yeah, we can write it in this way. It will be really great because right here we can easily write it as 2 to the power 9 times 2. So absolutely the same as right here. So nothing, nothing changed for us. And 1, let's write as 1 square. 1 square. Okay, nothing changed for us because 1 square equal to equal to 1 and it's it's really great. And what are we going to do next? This is, looks like a second number, so it looks like we have a difference of squares. So imagine 2 to the power 9, this is like our a and 1, this is our b. So it looks like from here we have a square minus b square. Yeah, we have a square minus b square equal to a minus b and times a plus b. This is like a really great uh, property. This is not like a property, this is like a formula. This is like an identity formula, which is really helpful for us and really important. So difference and then the sum. So we have two to the power nine minus one times two to the power nine plus one. Okay, two to the power nine plus one. Right here, two to the power nine, we can easily find this. Yeah, we have two to the power 10, 1024, and two to the power nine equal to equal to 512. Yeah, but let's write it in from another line. So right here we end it, and right here we go from, from the new line. So two to the nine minus one, so we have like two to the uh, 200 and 512 minus one, and times 512 plus one, 512 plus one. Okay, what do we have right now? 511 times 513. So 511 times 513. Let's multiply it without any calculation. As I told before, we don't use our calculator right here. So it looks like we need this right now, but we we should solve it without any calculator. Let's do this. So 511, let's do this. So 511 times 100, 513. So 511, let's write as 500 plus 11, okay? And second parenthesis, 500 plus 13, 500 plus 13 without any calculation, as I told before. And parenthesis times parenthesis, really great. So first one, 500 times 500, times 500, then plus 13 and plus 11. So we have looks like 24 times 500, so plus 24 times 500, and plus 13 times 11. And it looks like, oh, okay, I write it, plus 13 times 11, but I want to multiply it already, but it doesn't matter. So 500 times 500, this is, looks like 250,000 right here, then plus right here, uh, 24 times 500, it looks like 12,000, it looks like that, yeah, 12,000. And plus, when we multiply by 11, we have like 1, 3 uh, from the left hand side, right hand side, and in the middle we end 1 plus 3. This is like a true, really great trick. So we have plus 1, 4, 3. So, and final answer, we can easily write it. So, uh, 200,000 right here we have. So we have like 2, 6, 2, 1, 4, 3, 1, 4, 3. So without any calculation, we solve this question. So a lot of programmers know about this 2 to the power 20. They know about it. They know about 2 to the power 18, a lot of programmers, but uh, many don't know about it. And I hope you learn something new. So we wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. And if, if it's not hard to you, please leave a like, write any comment. I really appreciate it. And it helps me. It inspires me a lot. And it keeps my channel alive. Thank you for your time and have a great day.